Hey, hello and welcome to day three. We are standing in front of the cave of creation here at Tosa Blue Mountain. And I'll tell you what, the energy is fabulous. You know, this is a miracle day. We just got done with our miracle team ceremony. And today, day three, is the day of the cave. It is the day of going in as the master and coming out even more illuminated. And that's why we're coming to you live from the Cave of Creation. We're gonna share a little bit more about these caves that stand here in what we lovingly call the 11th dimension. And then, get ready, a spontaneous surprise and soul net that talks about the importance of this day. Day number three, the Trishul ignites. Three out of 12, it's profound. It's our time, beloveds. Breathe and enjoy. Fabulous carvings on the natural trees are, are holding this frequency of abundance, of love, of peace, everything that we associate with the fifth dimension. But we're going to go a little higher right now. I'm standing in this high aspect ratio pyramid here at the platform we refer to as the seventh dimension. Now the frequency inside this pyramid is higher than the surrounding energies and it truly opens up a portal of connection that when you stand here you can feel and connect with that which is closer to your true essence the vibration of your soul even though the entire tree was up in flames there was enough vitality and sap and and desire to be here that she overcame that obstacle and has birthed not only new foliage for herself but many new trees have sprung up through her roots that have extended out to offer the gift of life. Now we're gonna head on up even higher, 11th dimensional energy. And welcome to the Cave of Clarity. This beautiful one person cave is an opportunity to experience the resonance that is beyond the distractions of density. And this beautiful cave, I'm right in the entrance of it and it goes back in. In this caves, the resonance here is of the, the higher frequency than before. And this allows you to energize your dreams and to connect with that which is about to be, therefore, creation. And the view right here is at the Compadres Mountain. And, and on the side of the mountain is the profile of the ancient alien wisdom keeper. And uh, we can zoom in on that. You can get a sense of this beautiful McGraw that is in uh, the earth radiating presence and at the equinox you will see the sun rise in that notch over the hill just opposite the cave of creation. Know that every one of us is living an extraordinary life. There are no ordinary moments. There is only the extraordinariness of the living miracle. And you are part of that, are you not? So let's prepare ourselves to move into ceremony. Breathing deeply and fully. Deeply. Fully, meaning I accept the energy of this divine breath. Ave Sa. Ave Sa. And think along with me as I recite the mantra of self ascension. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. As we arise with great humility into the 12 days before us right now, these 12 days are days of creation, of extraordinary up-level opportunity, of extraordinary breath and exquisite vision. Each day marked by its own energy, yet each day building as if a necklace of diamonds worn around your neck. 
12 diamonds, each perfect in their own, yet when called together, only the one that is awake can wear. This is a moment where we are being called into the higher presence of all that has ever been. This is the moment where all of the masters have come forward. It is the trap of the master's ego that awaits the one that is expanding even more. For the master's ego carries great impatience with those that have yet to awaken and yet simultaneously is aware of their experience to be here to assist just that. It is a period of integration. It is what many would call an ascension symptom. And this ascension symptom can manifest in many different ways and through many different beings. It is indeed simpler when around those that have already gone through, yet there have not been many that have ever congregated, which is why many go into the cave. They walk into the cave because within the cave, they can feel safe where they can be in their mastery presence, expanding beyond without the limitation trying to push back. Whenever we expand beyond, the limitation will try to push back. And the irony is that that pushback will find itself to be the propulsion that for the master will assist you to expand again, to see each moment as pushback as a moment of expansion. This is why the swing or the pendulum is swinging in the infinite cycle right now in a vast wide swing between expansion and contraction, expansion and contraction. These two in the world of density only exist because of the other. And it is through the clarity, the upliftment and the rise in the 12 day cycle before the now that the channels of healing light that exist here, pouring out now towards you, these channels of light are illuminating as part of the Trinity that has called forward the ignition of the full illumination of the chalice of now. Yet to stabilize from this to this is the 12 days of swinging from the portal of the 12, which is the mastery unit of the Trinity and the rising trishule of protection for those that are able to arise into the moment of infinite connection. The moment of infinite connection is one that has often been attained specifically when you were in this form, similarly in the Atlantean times of this planet's expansionary experience of time. In this linear experience now, when you trace back what you call memories, they are always coherent to the time experience of concentric energy that you have floated into. However, in this moment, this float has the ability to anchor. This is a moment of critical consciousness where the consciousness that has been carrying the eternal frequencies of sustenance are all here now because of this grid. It is because of this grid that you are here. The grid of illumination that can only be called forward in this world fully outside of the constraints of density whereby the universal laws prohibit its very creation, much less comprehension. Expand. Remember, in a world where there cannot be interference. The ultimate memory is to me remember that interference can only be born through the egoic nature of self-propagation of illusion. Today, this moment, and many days after this, go into your cave, but go in as the master knowing that the master's ego sits in the cave until it can keep relaxing enough to lift through even that illusion and anchor through the highest vision for those around that may not have acclimated and or even awoken to the potentiality. This is the master's journey. And the master's journey in this world of form is just beginning again. 
Everything is new. Everything is growing. Feel that pit that is in your third chakra. Feel the energy that is in your heart. Feel the gulp that may be in your throat. Feel the energy of your own beautiful, beautiful chalice igniting. These 12 days matter. Those who hear it will lift into the grid. I am as you are is the moment at hand. And as you walk into the cave, carry your sincerity, carry your love, and carry your presence. And when you are in there, ask for the clarity that will sustain your steadfast commitment, that will inspire your focused awareness, and that will absolutely offer you the relaxation of all doubt so that you can learn what it is like and the freedom of complete trust. From that moment, you are free of the density illusion and able to sustain the consciousness field that is lifting the all. You are ready or you would not be. And so it is.